Hi, welcome to In the Playroom Applique. We're doing a whole series of 20 different appliques that relate to being in the playroom. So mostly toy type things, kind of fun. So there's some of them already up here. We're doing 20 all together and we're up to applique number six. So this is a picture of all of the ones that we're doing. And as I said, we've already done five. So this time we're doing actually a fun little hobby horse. If there is a pattern available, if you wanted to um, purchase that from gourmetquilter.com, so that's all about in the playroom. If you're already getting the pattern, you're going to have a pattern something like this that you can download and print with all your shapes ready to trace. So I've gone ahead and I've started positioning my pieces. I'm doing fused raw edge applique and I've got a lot of pieces in place. Nothing's ironed in place just yet. And I'm going to uh, carry on now. I've got the stick here for the little hobby horse and I've got a wheel to go on the, on the bottom down here. Just keep an eye on where your seam allowances are going to go if it's going to be stitched into something. Of course you can use these appliques for all sorts of things. They could go onto bags, clothing, quilts, pretty much anything. Um, he's got a little mane on here, uh, sorry, uh, he's got his mane already in there. He's got a little halter on here. And that's going to go up here. Oh, those were the days when we could just sit on that little hobby horse and play and our imagination took us away. And then he's got some reins. And so these, this sits here so that it comes from the halter and it just wants to hook around as if it's going around behind that mane. So just that shape will do that. So it looks like it's going around behind. Now the only other thing is he needs an eye. So I could have cut out a small shape for the eye. So there he is. But I thought I'd just show you another option would be to, to draw it on. So if I'm using uh, pens on fabric, I use something like these uh, Micron Pigma pens. They're just a very fine pen. And the other thing if you need something light is a, is a gel pen. Gel pens also are permanent on fabric. So if I was going to put an eye on here, I would probably draw it about here and hope that it's in the right place because I didn't mark it first. But I'd do the outline and then I'd just give him a little bit of a an eyeball in there. And if you wanted him to have a, a white part to his eye, you could do it with the gel pen here. And you could just fill that in and it'll just lighten it up a little bit. And it just gives it a little bit of interest. And then just make sure that that black is all filled in, a little gap just there. And then he's got a little nostril as well. So that's another option for doing things you don't always want to do everything that's... Oh, he's got a little mouth in there too. Where's his little mouth? He wants to talk to us. There we go. So I think that's all looking uh, pretty good. So the white of the gel, white gel pen hasn't gone super white. I didn't want to go over it too heavy. You could go over it again if you wanted something a bit whiter. But it's just lightened it a little bit, which is really nice. So I'm just going to iron all that in place now. And I need to get it ready to stitch it. So I'm going to be doing a few free motion stitching. And because I'm free motioning, I need to have a stabilizer behind there. And so I'm just going to use a lightweight cotton batting. And I just iron them together. It's not fusible, but it just holds it together nicely if we do it that way. So I'm going to go to the sewing machine now and I can show you how I get started on that sewing. So we might do some of this um, fussy face part because the face is just a little bit busy with this halter on it. So I might just start up in the corner up there near his ear at the moment and come down onto that halter. So I've just got across the top and now I'm just going to come down the side bit here. And I'm going to come back up the other side of it. And then I'll come around and I'll do this other piece as well. So this other piece has got the reins coming from it too, but we can just go around this little bit here and I'm going to come back over that there and I'm just going to ignore the reins for this at this stage and come down here and I want to come along this bit here, 
So really I just like to keep sewing without stopping and starting if I possibly can. Sometimes you have to stop and start. So I'm back here now and so now I can go on to that rain and come all the way out and do that. And then I can actually just skip on here because we just need to go around the front part of his nose there. And then I will need to stop and start just there. But I just thought if I showed you some of those fiddly bits, that would be really good. So I'll continue on. Really, it's very straightforward outlining now. So I'll continue on and do that and come and show you when I get to the other end. So I'm just finishing off the last bit. I've got to come down the back of his head here and then do that last bit of mane. So I'm just going to skip onto that double rein there and just then go onto the mane. And here we are, all done. So I'll just give that a quick press. looking so fun. So I'm just going to pop that up with the other ones up on the wall now. So that was um, in the playroom applique number six and I definitely think we're looking like we're in a playroom. We've got piggy banks and pull-along toys and doll houses and hobby horses. I'll see you again with applique number seven.